Yeah, hi, for this latest Agile CRM tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to uh, add a web rule to your website. In this case, we're going to add a pop-up to your website. Uh, web rules, what they do is they allow you to perform certain actions when people visit your website, uh, like showing them a pop-up or increasing a score. Uh, and here's what you need to do. You just need to go to the web rules area of the platform. And from the start, you can see that uh, for web rules to work, you need to copy and paste uh, this tracking code uh, to your uh, web pages uh, just before the closing uh, body uh, HTML tag. So I'm going to show you uh, that uh, really quickly. I'm just going to highlight this uh, code and copy it. And just simply here opening up a notepad where I have just a, a test uh, site uh, designed and developed. I'm just going to paste that uh, code there uh, in uh, this HTML and uh, save it. And then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, reload uh, this uh, test site. I'm going to choose a pop-up to add. We're just going to go with uh, a pop-up something like uh, a subscribe now uh, pop-up. Uh, we have multiple uh, options and uh, multiple templates here from email forms, uh, confirmations, uh, just basic information, uh, scheduling meetings, uh, surveys, uh, calls and service. Uh, you also have the option to uh, go to the editor or customize and make a custom uh, web rule. But we're going to use a template here, just a pop-up going to click uh, go here and what we can do is just really quickly go ahead and uh, name it um, just name this one uh, uh, test pop-up just for the purposes of this uh, this tutorial you do have the option to go ahead and click this link to open up the pop-up and um, you can edit it uh, you know obviously edit the text uh, and just of course uh, when you're finished, uh, you would uh, save it. Uh, I'm not uh, going to do any editing, uh, so I'm just going to close this out. Uh, you have the option as well to add certain conditions. The conditions can be uh, obviously the, the certain URL that is visited, uh, contact data, uh, geography, custom fields, uh, shopping cart conditions. Uh, so you can uh, literally uh, add conditions to have this uh, web rule uh, activate and nurture uh, specific uh, leads on your website. Uh, but for this uh, test, we're just going to, uh, the condition is going to be that the page URL uh, contains uh, index.html. Uh, this is my test site, isn't live, it's just here on uh, my computer. So you would just enter the correct uh, web address there. Um, of course, you know, you have uh, certain actions, uh, you know, you can um, add to a campaign, remove from a campaign, add tags, um, execute code, but we're just going to do, uh, just bring up a, a pop-up here. Uh, you do have some more options here, and that would be uh, where to show the pop-up. Uh, you know, you have the option for the center, uh, right bottom, uh, left bottom. I'm going to choose the center. Um, when to show. Uh, you can show it immediately uh, after a certain time. Uh, you can choose the number of seconds uh, on starting to scroll, uh, you know, exiting the page. Uh, I'm going to choose on starting the scroll. And of course, you have uh, the option to add other actions as well. So what I'm going to do is save this web rule that I have uh, put together. And you can see that the web rule has been saved. Uh, the name is test pop-up. And uh, what I'm going to do is just show you the test site and uh, see how this, uh, how this works. So let me quickly uh, go here to this site. I'm just going to quickly refresh. And the web rule is set up to show when I begin scrolling. And there it is. Of course, you would you know, design this in the way and edit it the way that you like. Uh, but this is how the Agile CRM web rules work. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.